Thanks for tuning in to Retiring Well. We're going to be talking today about changes in tax legislation, things you want to be paying attention to for 2022. What about tax planners versus tax preparers? What's the difference and, and why is that important for your plan? What about how to calculate Social Security, such a vital piece of your retirement income plan? And lastly, the power of indexing, how that plays a role when you're looking at your overall retirement plan. So stay tuned to Retiring Well. Retiring Well, brought to you by Centennial Wealth Advisory, financial advisors specializing in retirement planning and serving all of Northern Michigan. Retiring Well, helping you plan for a successful and comfortable retirement. Retiring Well, plan to retire well. In this segment, I would like to just do a quick update on 2022 income tax and 2021 uh, preparation here as you roll into the filing season. Uh, tax day for 2021 taxes is actually gonna be Monday, April 18th. Uh, typically that day is the 15th, which this year falls on a Friday, uh, but the government is giving, us, giving you an extra weekend to prepare your taxes. So if you're one of those people who are late to the party and getting your return prepared, uh, just be advised you've got that extra weekend and an extra couple of days. You know, one of the topics that uh, many of our clients have been asking questions about over the last several months has been the uh, political environment and the possibility of tax changes surrounding that. One of the uh, pieces of legislation that we found as pertinent to possibly having, having some changes uh, was the tax, or the uh, Build Back Better plan rather, uh, that was proposed by the Biden administration. Uh, there was no actual passage of legislation in 2021 that's going to affect 2021 uh, taxes at this point in time. So uh, at right now, we're gonna looking more at like a Build Back Later as opposed to a Build Back Better at this point in time. We'll see what happens going forward in that respect. Some other changes that are pertinent here for 2021 uh, and possibly 2000, and 2022 as well is that the IRS did update the uh, required minimum distribution life expectancy tables. Uh, those are basically prepared by actuaries throughout the, uh, um, throughout the year there that determine who uh, at uh, what at certain age uh, has a life expectancy and the uh, RMD calculation is based on how many years you actually have um, uh, calculated there for your life expectancy at a certain point. And these actuaries did update those uh, tables to uh, increase the life expectancy or to reflect that in society at this point in time. That's the first time they've done that since the early 2000s. So that means that uh, if you are age 72 or older, you may find that your required distribution is actually going to be a little bit less than it has been in past years. So that's just something to keep in mind. You know, at Centennial Wealth Advisory, we like to help our clients with not only tax uh, planning and preparation there for our investment clients uh, and looking forward to, to identify certain opportunities such as Roth IRA conversions, qualified charitable distributions, things of that nature. And if those are things that you find relevant in your particular situation with respect to uh, uh, your, uh, your wealth planning, your holistic picture of planning there, uh, just feel free to give us a call. Uh, we can talk about that in the context of your initial consultation with us um, as we uh, look to help uh, others here in the Northern Michigan community with investment and wealth planning going forward. Hey, welcome back. I hope you uh, found that valuable where you got to start to see what the new tax legislation might be. And I always snicker a little bit when they're like new tax legislation because uh, it doesn't it seem like we get that every year? Um, in fact, there was a book that I read. It's a real page turner. It was the history of taxes. And it went all the way back to the beginning of uh, when taxes first appeared. Uh, it gave some really cool charts about, you know, what the tax brackets have done over all of the years. It gives you like our current tax brackets with the top marginal rates and compared them to, you know, historical averages. And so from, uh, from that aspect, it was pretty interesting. But I guess my point is like, you you know, taxes are all tax laws are always changing and so you know being on top of those tax laws is so important knowing your bracket knowing what the top of your marginal bracket might be and then what changes might be coming and so you know something that uh, we are constantly analyzing always being educated on because you know when we plan for what those tax changes uh, uh, possibly might be now we can put it into the plan and adjust accordingly yeah you're so right I mean the one constant 
constant with taxes is change. Okay, that's that's just how it is. Um, lots of times I have clients come in where they do their own taxes, and that's that's awesome if you can do that. Um, but recently I had a client come in, and he was still under the assumption that he had to start RMDs at age 70 and a half. Well, I let him know that. No, that's actually not the case anymore. You can wait until age 72. Actually, I had numerous clients back in 2020 also still think that they needed to take RMDs in that year as well. So it's just it's little examples like that where, yes, doing your own taxes is awesome, but it doesn't hurt to reach out to somebody and maybe, I mean, you don't know what you don't know, right? So um, don't hesitate to give us a call. Reach out anytime for questions, concerns, even want to schedule that free initial consultation. I mean, we are here to help. Um, so stay tuned. Coming up next, we're going to be talking about how to calculate Social Security and then tax preparers versus tax planners. So lots of great information. You don't want to miss it. One consistent thing in our working years, taxes. In retirement, guess what? They follow you. Taxes are going to be there in retirement. It's important to have a holistic approach that tackles this and has a plan for this. In your early years, you're in the growth and accumulation phase. You're deferring taxes in most cases. And guess what? In retirement, you turn into a distribution phase, turning that into a paycheck. And now we have to worry about taxes. Our holistic retirement planning approach includes tax planning and implementing tax reduction strategies to minimize your liability and increase your cash flow. We are well versed with ever changing tax laws and sources of tax free retirement. Where you put your money matters and the earlier you take these steps to change, the better. Here at Centennial Wealth, it's important to us to not only consider your investment plan to have a holistic approach across the board with all of your assets. Take advantage of this opportunity now while you still can. We here in our Northern Michigan offices want to sit down with you with a complimentary, no obligations visit to review your whole plan and take a deep dive into that tax plan so you can be assured that you have a solid foundation, not only for today, but for the next 20 to 30 years of your retirement. When it comes to your financial future, what's the value of a truly objective opinion? As someone looking for financial guidance, you have choices. There are thousands of captive financial professionals who work as employees for large national insurance companies and brokerages. There are also many independent financial professionals who aren't bound to any given insurance company, investment strategy, or product. So what's the difference and why does it really matter to you? Consider this. If you walked into a doctor's office with a sore throat, a bad cough, and a high fever, you'd expect that doctor to assess your symptoms, do a thorough diagnosis, and ultimately hand you a prescription written to cure your particular ailment. In other words, you'd expect the doctor to consider all the medications available and give you his or her absolute best thinking on what's best for you. On the other hand, if that doctor opened the cupboard and only had three or four prescriptions available, maybe those offered by his or her favorite pharmaceutical rep, most patients would immediately raise an eyebrow, suspicious that they might not be getting what was really in their best interest. The same may be true for your financial well-being. If your financial professional is an employee who's contractually bound to represent a given insurance or investment company only offering their products while there are literally hundreds of others available, how sure can you be that you're being offered what's truly best for your situation? You don't walk into a tailor or seamstress shop to get clothing off some rack. You go for a custom tailored fit. And with something as important as your financial future at hand, the stakes are even higher. We believe you deserve a truly objective opinion. We think you deserve to consider more of the available options. And we believe your financial future is worth a custom tailored prescription to help you feel confident for the days ahead. If you'd like a second opinion on your current retirement strategy, simply contact our office today. Let's talk about tax preparing versus tax planning, and specifically speaking to your retirement. As we're working and as a working age and you're having your taxes prepared, oftentimes you're looking at how can I save money on taxes today? I want to pay less to the IRS. So maybe you're adding more to a 401k, adding more to IRAs, maybe an HSA. You're trying to defer taxes out further, right? And the idea is I'm going to eventually be in a lower tax bracket. 
Well, let's stop for a sec. Now let's fast forward to retirement and see what this looks like. Now, hopefully you're working with a tax planner and a tax planner is gonna be looking at not only today, but looking ahead and what are taxes gonna look like on the road. Now you're taking all these taxes you've deferred and you're likely gonna to have to be taking some of these either through required minimum distributions, income from what you, you know, drawing off of what you want to live on and stuff like that. So we have to be looking ahead. How can we do that? Through mock tax returns, doing tax returns in advance to see what they look like under different scenarios. Modeling out many years ahead with your income needs, with your projected social security, with your projected required minimum distributions or capital gains or whatever you have and taking advantage of tax bracket optimization or realizing gains in certain tax brackets so you're setting yourself up to pay the least amount of cumulative tax over time. Now it becomes a little bit different game, not about just looking at year by year, is you have to be looking in advance. Oftentimes for our clients here at Centennial Wealth Advisory, we're trying to model taxes out for 10 to 20 to 30 years in advance. Now obviously there's gonna be some variables out there that we can't control. What if taxes go up? What if they go down? What if tax regulations change? And all these sort of things. At the end of the day, remember this. Preparing taxes is a valuable thing and is an important thing we all have to do, right? Or have somebody do for us. Tax planning becomes vitally important in retirement. The earlier you can start, the better. So when we start working through this, think of this. If you can save just 1% on your taxes over the course of your life, that's a huge thing. It's just as good as making the money on the investment size. So make sure part of your retirement plan, you're working with a tax planner that is cohesively working with your investment officer so they can help you plan to retire well. If you don't feel you're getting the best of that in your situation currently, give us a call. We love to sit down and walk through that with you and look at all those different scenarios we may be able to optimize and make your plan the most efficient it can be. In today's day and age, with a longer lifespan, you're more likely to encounter both good and bad market performance. For that reason, when planning for retirement, it's increasingly important to seek guidance from a financial advisor who can help you structure an income strategy that reflects your financial situation, risk tolerance, and investment objectives. You don't want just any advice, but objective financial advice. With so much at stake, it's important that you feel you can trust a financial advisor to consider a wide variety of possible solutions, including both investment and insurance products. Here at Centennial Wealth Advisory, we're not beholden to any certain investment tools or vehicles. We're independent. We can offer a wide variety of investment tools to, that meet your needs. So please, if you have any questions or you want to schedule an initial consultation, don't hesitate to give us a call at the number on the screen. We're happy to help in any way that we can. Let's talk about Social Security and, and how to calculate that. I won't be able to do that for every single one of you watching right now, but I will encourage you to go uh, create your own My Social Security account at ssa.gov where you can then get your own personal information and get a better understanding of what your retirement benefits look like. So as far as how they calculate Social Security, they're going to look at a lifetime of earnings. Um, 
and then they're going to index your earnings based on the average wages since you started earning. So they're going to take the average then of the highest 35 years. So you know, those, those years in high school when you're working a, a part-time job and everything may not be factored in if you've, you've worked a greater amount than 35 years, so you don't have to worry too much about that. The formula is then applied uh, to then determine uh, the amount um, of benefits that you'll have if you were to continue working until your full retirement age. So if you were born in 1960 or later, your full retirement age is 67. And if you're born uh, prior to that, then there's, there's different uh, times and ages that, that uh, you'll have as far as full retirement age. For this example, let's use a benefit of, of say $2,000 a month. So uh, again, we're talking about someone that's born in 1960, uh, they're age 67 and their benefit is 2000. If they can start that social security as early as age 62, uh, but that's gonna be discounted by approximately 30%. So in this example, the 2000 instead would be $1,400 a month, but you could delay that up to age 70, which is going to be about 24% higher, or in this example, $2,480. So the, uh, the full retirement age, again, is going to be based on the year that you were born. Um, and at age 65, I want you to not forget that you're going to want to sign up for Medicare. Uh, you're going to have your Part A, which is going to represent the hospital um, insurance, which is going to be free for most of you if, if you've worked and paid taxes, Medicare taxes over time. Part B is going to be your, your medical insurance side, and, and that would involve like a monthly premium. Uh, the, the other key thing that I want to point out when talking about Social Security is a surviving spouse situation where uh, the surviving spouse will have the opportunity to keep the higher of the two Social Security benefits uh, for, for their income stream. So again, Social Security is a vital piece of your overall retirement income plan, and here at Centennial Wealth Advisory, we'd be happy to sit down with you, walk through not just Social Security, but your overall uh, retirement plan and make sure that you have a plan to retire well. Hey, welcome back. Uh, you know, I love being able to talk about taxes and the difference between a tax preparer and a tax planner. You know, sometimes you might have the tax preparer that also is a tax planner, and then sometimes you don't. But I've used this analogy before. I think it really kind of brings a visual home to things that come across our desk all of the time. So imagine your retirement as a vehicle, and imagine the tires on that retirement vehicle represent your taxes. Well, if you're in Northern Michigan, you know that you are pretty sure, you know, seasons change. And when seasons come up, like a winter season, it's time to look at those tires and it's time to assess, hey, do I have the right tires for the right season? Do I need to change my tires in order to prepare for the season that's coming up? And that's my best analogy to give you for why you want a tax planner. You know, we're looking ahead at what your tax situation is going to be to get you in that best position possible to be as tax efficient as possible to be tax diversified so when that season of RMDs and maybe you know the death of a spouse or these different seasons that might happen that we've done uh, our due diligence to prepare for that as best as possible yeah another topic that was discussed there was how to calculate Social Security you know in years past the IRS would send out those letters that said hey at age 62 this is how much you could expect at age full retirement age, this amount, and age 70, this is what you could expect. Recently, they did away with sending out those mailings, so now you have to go on to um, ssa.gov and then log in and set that up all up to get your exact dollar figure. But if you haven't done that, I would highly encourage you to do that because it's an awesome planning tool and something that, I mean, you should be able to count on, right? So I encourage you to do that. As they discussed, there's lots of different ways that you can take Social Security, but it's just so important that you understand all those different ways that you can do that. And we have an awesome software program that will allow you to visualize the different scenarios that are available to you. So please don't hesitate to reach out to us and give us a call. We can help. Stay tuned. Coming up next, we're going to be talking about the power of indexing. You don't want to miss it.
If you are retired or soon to be retired, let us help you plan to retire well. Centennial Wealth Advisory specializes in retirement planning and has offices in Traverse City, Cadillac, Petoskey, and Gaylord. We'll never pressure anyone to become a client. Our goal is to inform and educate. Simply attend one of our live events or schedule a meeting at one of our Northern Michigan office locations for a free, no obligation retirement review. You can have a portfolio or you can have a plan. You can play it safely or you can safely plan. You can guess when to take Social Security or you can make your decision based on detailed analysis. You can hope your savings will last your entire retirement or you can take action and know. You can let life happen to you or you can take control. You can go it alone or you can have an experienced guide ready to walk with you every step of the way. We are Centennial Wealth Advisory, financial planners serving all of Northern Michigan, offices in Gaylord, Petoskey, Traverse City, and Cadillac. Simply call the number on your screen for a complimentary initial consultation and let us help you plan to retire well. I want to show you an investment option that's out there that may or may not be a fit of you. I want to talk about indexing and the power of this and how it works. Typically these are associated with some sort of insurance product or sometimes like an equity linked CD through a, a banking institution, something like that. And there's some other ways this can happen, but oftentimes most commonly they're associated with some form of insurance product. What was this look like? So let's assume we have an index and you're going to, this particular product is going to hypothetically give you 40% of the up, none of the down. So for ease of illustration here, let's look at a, a five year period where we have the following returns of the index. 10%, 10% on the good, 10% on the good, 30% drop, and then a 10% positive, 10% of positive. So we have four positive years of 10% and one negative year of 30% in there. So you'll see, obviously it's a bumpy road, but at the end of the five years, you have a positive amount of money, correct? Now let's look at that in that same scenario I set up, 40% indexing. So you get 40% of the up, none of the down. So in those 10% years here, you're only gonna get 4%, right? You're gonna get 4% of the first year, 4% of the second year, okay? Remember, because they were 10% on the index sides. Then that year that it dropped 30%, you're just gonna get zero. So you're not gonna go down. And then those last two years, remember, those were 10% years as well of the index, you're gonna get 40%, 4% and 4% again. So you'll see, surprisingly, even with more of a boring course, only 4%, you actually got a little bit better performance at the end of the day, all because you avoided that large drop in this scenario. So once again, earning potential is gonna be limited, right? Because you're only gonna get 40% of the up, but you have that downside protection built into that. So a pretty neat tool there. So when you look at this chart here off to the side and you look at kind of averages, now if you just take the average when you do the returns across the board, basically that index only averaged 2%, right? 40% on the positive, 30%, so you only had a positive 10 over five years. It comes back to a 2% average, right? 
On the indexing side, it actually works out to about 3.2% on the average side. So your real return ends up being a little bit less on the, the market side or the index side because of the volatility. On the other side, it ends up being a hair more because of the, the consistency of it. But once again, the power of indexing, the point here is, is that sometimes for some people, it makes more sense to not take all the up if you can protect yourself from the down. So when we're looking at these types of situations or looking at your risk tolerance, it's important to consider something like this if you're in a situation where you don't like the volatility or don't want to see your account values diminish. Now, be known there's other sort of characteristics that come along with these and you need to make sure they fit for your needs and for your portfolio and all of your liquidity needs and such like that. But something to consider as you're building your retirement portfolio, maybe consider something that has an index product. The power of indexing, it is certainly powerful as that segment just uh, discussed there. Um, you know, a recent scenario I had with a client as far as how indexing goes is they came in and, and they didn't want a lot of risk, okay? And they, their assumption, well, if I wanted to be in the market, not have a lot of risk, I need to be in bonds. Well, with interest rates rising, bond values go down, it's not the best situation for them, right? They weren't aware of all the different uh, investment tools out there to still participate in the market but not have the downside risk and so what I did was I went over the various investment tools one being fixed indexed annuities so what these products are is they give you participation in the market and then if the market crashes, well, you're not gonna make any money for that year, but you also wouldn't lose any money either. So I think we've said it on the show a few times, but it's, it's likened them to a bond alternative, right? You get the safety that a bond provides without that risk, but you still get to participate in the market, albeit it's not all of the market, but it's a portion of it, and it still gives you a decent potential for a return. Yeah, absolutely. I think what Nick is really getting at there too is just, okay, where is uh, the risk of the portfolio and where do we not want to have risk on the portfolio? You know, if you're in a traditional IRA or a 401k that can be rolled over to a traditional IRA and it opens up the opportunities for these fixed indexed annuities, I think one thing that you want to uh, research is, okay, well, what's the best fixed indexed annuity out there? Because there is a lot. And, you know, if I'm coming at it from a traditional IRA, I kind of have that time component built in to uh, the withdrawal strategy on your traditional IRA. Being that you take a big chunk out of the uh, IRA that uh, you're going to have big taxes. It's going to push you up the bracket. And so, you know, I think uh, every person that's getting near or in retirement should learn about indexing. Understand the purpose get educated on the products, and then it can give you peace in your plan as to why you would have that fit exactly where it fits in. So if you have any questions about uh, the products that we were talking about, uh, they change. And so, you know, we stay up to date on what the best out there is for you and love to educate you on the power of indexing and how it might be a good fit for you. So feel free to give us a call, look us up on our website, send-wealth.com, and uh, or call the number on the screen that you see uh, come across. So so hope you enjoyed this uh, week's episode and tune in next week, same time, same place.